Indian Artist of ICCR, Indian Council for Cultural Relations. A sincere thanks to ICCR for sponsoring this artist for us. A welcome to our chief guest, Ms. Annika Rainbe, Director General Swedish Institute. Welcome, madam. We begin today. All auspicious occasions begin with a lamp lighting ceremony. We request Madam Annika Rembe, Her Excellency Ambassador and Dr. Sangeet Gandhi to please come forward to mark the formal opening of this exhibition by lamping the lamp here. A big hand. Yeah, really. This is a very, very traditional species. Uh, you know, it's a traditional thing there. Yeah. 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 So I will give it light to it. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Dr. Sangeet. We now request our ambassador to welcome the audience with a welcome. Annika Reinde, Honorable Director General of the Swedish Institute, Excellencies, my dear Ambassadors who have taken the time to join me here today, Distinguished Guests, Dr. Sangeet Gandhi, the artist, uh, the very, very eminent artist who has come all the way from India to, to uh, share with us her works, and all of you wonderful people who have found time on a working day to join us here. Namaskar and thank you very much. It's uh, actually a great pleasure for me to say welcome, swagat, to this exhibition of traditional Indian tapestries. And uh, the tapestries of course will be described and uh, uh, spoken about by the artist herself. But uh, uh, I thought that I would also mention a couple of things before we move to the exhibition itself. India is celebrating 70 years of its independence this year and our celebrations begin now and will be, uh, will be carried into uh, next year until August 2018. So I hope that as we continue to celebrate these 70 years of India's independence, as we continue to bring more and more events, whether they are exhibitions or performing art events or cinema weeks, uh, I hope that all of you will take some time and join us in our celebrations. Uh, may I also mention that India is the theme country this year at the Stockholm Cultural Festival. And for us that is a, a very great opportunity to bring to you a slice of Indian civilization, a slice of Indian culture, a slice of the way India lives. Uh, so I just thought that I would put it somewhere in the back of your mind that uh, this is a very, very special year for us. We are also planning a huge Make in India business event uh, somewhere towards autumn. And of course, we will come back to all of you with all the details. And we do hope that I will keep meeting all of you and you will keep joining us for these events. Another occasion which uh, actually merited celebration, and we were not really able to do it on that specific day, was the International Women's Day. Um, I had 
requested the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, which is the counterpart organization of the Swedish Institute actually, to put it in perspective. I had requested them to send us a woman artist so that we could celebrate the works of a woman artist in Sweden, which is a country that tops the global table in gender parity. Here is a country where uh, we can all draw from the example of Sweden. It's a model country for all of us when it comes to women and to gender equality. And I thought that uh, what better than to celebrate Indian womanhood, the Indian woman, through bringing a, a woman artist from India and to display her works here in the heart of Sweden, where all of you could uh, partake of it and enjoy uh, uh, the showcasing of some Indian art. Um, about Sangeet herself, I would like to um, to um, tell you a little more about uh, the artist. May I request Sangeet to please step forward and not hide behind most tapestries. <laughs> um, Sangeet Gandhi is an extremely eminent artist in India today. She is extremely well known, not only in the art circles in India, but in the art circles abroad. Her works have been exhibited across the globe, uh, in Europe, in America, in Asia, and of course, several times in India. Uh, what Sangeet does is really very, very unique, because Sangeet works with alluvial colors, organic colors, and um, she, her work is actually about um, how she describes it, quote unquote, I need the colors of my soil. And uh, so she works uh, with traditional minerals, clays, vegetable colors. Those are the kind of things that she works with. So everything that you see around you is all organic. It's all natural. There's not an iota of anything which is other than organic in all the works around you. Uh, Sangeet also has a bachelor's degree in architecture, so she's actually a practicing architect. Uh, she's also an exponent of Hindustani classical music and dance. Uh, she um, has studied Bharatanatyam, the form of classical Indian dance from the south of India. And uh, she's also an astrologer. <laughs> so Sangeet wears a lot of different hats. She's worked a lot with pottery and murals. Um, in fact, she has a, a three-year diploma in stoneware pottery. Uh, and uh, apart from uh, all this, I think I must mention one thing, that she has been honored by the President of India for uh, 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 he, uh, the, the Government of India, the State of India, rec its recognition for her work with uh, wood conservation technology which is something very, very different. You would see there are some uh, multimedia works in the center of the hall uh, and they are put on the easels and this is actually wood and other medium. So you will see that there is a mix of things that are being done here. Uh, you see the tapestries which is of course traditional textile and fabric and a lot of work which there is hand painting and there is a lot of other work that Sangeet herself will, will explain. Uh, but uh, I thought that I would just highlight these few things and uh, Sangeet will come and make a very brief presentation to us in a moment. But in the meantime, I would like to invite Madam Anika Reinbe, the Director General and Head of the Swedish Institute, uh, who is also an extremely eminent woman in this country, uh, serves on many boards, but what I would like to highlight is that there is a particular organization where, uh, which is a leadership program and a women's entrepreneur network. Uh, it's called Women Up Sweden. And it's so interesting that uh, Anika has worked a lot with women-related activities and we are here to celebrate the Indian woman. Uh, but of course, all the men are welcome to join in the celebrations. <laughs> uh, delighted to have you here with us, Madam Anika Rembe. May I request you to say a few words on the occasion? <laughs> 